Good morning. I'm Kosinus Kulakis from Study Med Cuisine. Uh, so I'm going to talk to you today about physiology and how to study physiology in general. This applies for both people that are studying in Czech Republic in Masaryk University and other people that are studying in other European English college universities, like in Samuel Weiss or in uh, Prague. Uh, I'm going to rec- start by telling you about the books, then I'm going to tell you about some study materials that you can use for the exam and uh, other study materials, that, I mean, except of books. And then I'm going to tell you on how to study uh, and some topics that are important. So first, let's start with the books. Here I have two of the three books that I recommend. The first uh, one I want to talk about is Ganon. Uh, Ganon is a really good book, but as you can see, comparing with Gaiton, which I have here, is uh, much smaller. But it's a good book. It goes to depth. If you can understand from here, you are fine. You know, and I, I, you will understand what I mean to understand things from here. It goes in a very good depth for clinical knowledge in physiology because you're going to need physiology in general in many subjects. If you are planning to go to the internal medicine and you like all about internal medicine, this is this is a treasure for you. So, uh, Gano is going to enough enough depth knowledge. And uh, it's not so big as guide. And uh, then the second book is Guide. Guyton uh, is a really good book, it's a big book, but it has one problem. Look, look, look at this, look at the difference between Guyton and Guyton. The proper student, the one who is, if you say you're watching now, and now and you're it's a first the semester, and you're gonna have physiology. You're not watching now in the exam period, you're watching the video in uh, during the semester in the beginning. And you say, what am I gonna do for physiology? This proper student is gonna think, I, I didn't do that. I was not the proper student at that time. So what, what are you going to do? You're going to take this book and study it during the whole year. This is a proper, uh, or during the whole semester, I don't know, you have it during one semester or two. So this is what the proper student will do. But let's say that you don't have the time, you want to study during exam period only. Then you choose this. And if there is some topic that you cannot understand well from this book, then you go to guide. But if you, uh, I, I prefer, I, I recommend you to have this book for exam period. And this one as a reference sometimes that you need to study something more or something more in more not depth but in, with more details so this about these two books and um, the last book that i don't have it here is going to be a few it's like, so like that and the, the, the last book i'm going to talk about is costanzo costanzo brs board review series costanzo it's a small book over here, here. It is a, like this, a A6, I think it's a page. And it's a, it's a really good book because it's a re- review. It's not like this, it's not text, it's points. One, two, three, four, five, this is what happens. Uh, let's say that you have a, a vitamin D, you want to know about vitamin D. You have studied already the whole book, you rather said you this, you said this, but now you want to revise it, you know, you want to get only the small points about its, its question. Uh, it's a uh, hormone or its function. This constant is for. Even if you go to Wikipedia, it's gonna appear like bam a text like that. But constant has one, two, three. You go to vitamin D, you search up uh, increased absorption of uh, calcium and phosphorus from the intestines. It's like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, and it gives you everything. Everything you need to know, like a knowledge, not an explanation. Explanation from here. Knowledge from constant. For a vision is perfect. If you have been studying the whole year Guyton, then you cannot revise in the exam period Guyton again. You have to use something smaller. If in the exam period you have been reading this and you understand everything from here, then last week, five days, you can study Constanzo and you will have everything. Because this is always about understanding. The last points can be made by Constanzo, but this is what you need in the first place. Uh, okay, this about this about books. Constanzo, yeah. remember BRS Constanzo. Because it's another Constanzo. So, the the third book, the the, the third thing I want to say about uh, physiology is that uh, you can you can use other materials other than books. These are, you know, videos. In Czech Republic, that I am the most famous teacher, like online tutor, let's say, is Dr. Nancy. It has a website online. Uh, I, I can post it in the 
I can post you your website, you buy them, it's not very expensive to buy all his videos and they are really useful actually. He's really good, he has two positives and one negative. The first positive is that you're gonna understand. If you don't understand by Dr. Najib, then you're not gonna understand from anywhere else and uh, there is no chance you will find someone to explain better than Dr. The second thing is that you're gonna learn because you say, we have here the heart is doing blah blah blah, this like that, everything, all the examples, and then, okay, now let's repeat them together. Not not like uh, Dora the Explorer, but uh, mostly like uh, he has some students and he asks them, and he repeats them again, two three times. This is why you're gonna learn. And the third thing that I want to say about Doctor Nancy is that he's not, he's taking too much time. That's the point. You don't have time. You don't have time in exam period. You you do it during the semester is perfect, but during exam period, 22 hours of the heart is a lot. What in even in three days is a lot because you have other things to do. You have to study more stuff. You cannot waste three days for the heart. But maybe slowly you can because uh, the heart is a difficult topic. It's a very important topic. You're gonna use it all the time, and it's important to know it. So maybe you have these 22 hours or how many. I don't remember exactly what there are best to study the to study the heart from Dr. Najib. And not Dr. Najib except for the heart, which is really good, has the kidneys which are really difficult, and it has also the respiratory system, which is also important in this also. So the three things you can post from Dr. Najib. Now let's take the negative of Dr. Najib and we apply it in the opposite side Conrad Fisher from Kaplan videos. It's an amazing guy, I really I really love it. This guy is amazing. Uh, Conor Fisher from Kaplan videos. He's explained physiology in around 20 minutes per topic. Um, he's perfect. Maybe he's not so uh, length lengthy explaining a lot. Uh, he explained it once, and I think you will understand it. Uh, the, uh, you cannot compare it with Dr. Najib because Dr. Najib is a uh, other other style of teaching. He wants like he has this school kind of teaching, school tutoring. You no, know, he wants like slowly. Gradually, Conor Fish is gonna tell you one sentence. If you don't understand, you go back and you listen to it again, and then you go back and you listen again until you understand, it. or you put it in slower, you know, slower. The thing is that uh, uh, I, I, okay, maybe I'm a bit biased because I really, really love Conor Fisher. He's uh, he's more enjoyable to watch than Conor uh, Let's say that the way that he explains and is more childy sometimes and puts his actor skills uh, and uh, that makes it uh, that ma makes it interesting to watch you want to watch Conor Fisher you are not so up to watch Dr. Nancy but you really want to watch Conor Fisher it's, he's good, he's really good he's, uh, he's working in New York also okay this about Conor Fisher Kaplan videos you can buy them online I will put uh, maybe I don't know I will put uh, in the info website or I don't know where you can find them uh, and then uh, these two tutors are done and we have one more that I recommend is uh, Dr. John Campbell there's two thing about, uh, things I like about Dr. John Campbell is first thing is uh, you understand what he says like he has his schemes okay it's maybe it's a bit primitive the way that he's doing it with papers but it does it doesn't stop to be like a really good way to understand things and except for that he's doing that for free and he's you know he does that for people for people that don't have money to buy all these Kaplan bits don't want to see I really respect that for some reason uh, and I like the guy he understand I use his uh, info for other for many things even in older years actually I used two weeks ago for intensive medicine to explain the shock the shock uh, so, Dr. John Campbell, you can find him for free on YouTube. Uh, the last thing I want to talk about is how to study for physiology, and I think that's really important. In physiology, you cannot study by yourself. It's not like anatomy or physiology. It things that you have to understand. So, for I recommend, except of reading, listening, and watching the videos I told you, reading the books, watching and listening, then I have to look at myself. Then the third thing you can do is explain, and that's really important. 
to explain to someone what you understood. Because let's say I'm Costas and, and I know very well the part. And I have my friend uh, Fernando that knows very well the kidneys. What's going to happen if we start discussing about the part? In the end, probably it's going uh, to um, reach the level that I have for the heart, and I'm going to reach his level about the kidneys. And except to that, you know, like friends talking about medicine, in, in every kind of medicine, not only physiology, you dig inside the other person to find the lack of knowledge. And this is what you need for physiology. You, you know, you can read again and again, but you never know until someone tells your knowledge in something. So, this is what you need to do, listen and watch, read and explain. If you explain, uh, and except you explain, there is a, this listening and watching is also in the part of talking with a friend, so, about the topic. So, explain. And I really recommend that you have to explain to someone. Uh, I, I'm paraphrasing right now, but uh, the Varoufakis, the, the Greek, uh, Minister, ex former minister of finance, finance, said that you will never be able to understand things, or you you never know that you understand things until you'll be able to explain. Uh, and and it's true, it works like that. If you uh, if you cannot explain something, probably you haven't understood it enough enough well. So that's about physiology. Good luck. Uh, good luck. Good luck with uh, this subject. It's very interesting and very important. Medicine, you will see that. I am sure that's very important for medicine. Uh, subscribe, subscribe if you want. Every every Sunday at four o'clock in a video, maybe one or two depends because now it's exam period for uh, for me, and I feel that I have to give more than what I give. But sometimes, okay, definitely one video per week, maybe two sometimes. So like or dislike. Uh, Comment below about what you think and uh, correct me if I'm mistaken some things and make video response. And see you. Thank you very much. Mariano Vakova is, uh, is the main examiner, which is a different example. There is no, there is probably few people in the university that they will tell you that Maria is not Because it's not. So it's I want you to know, to understand, not to know, but to understand people.